This episode about Sun Tzu's Art of War is supported by the Great Courses Plus. It deals with Chapter 5, Posture of the Army. Although it should be noted that some translations use a different chapter title, namely Energy or Potential. Yet, let's take a closer look. Sun Tzu notes that the management of a large force is the same as the management of few men. It is a matter of organization. Additionally, he notes that directing larger units is a matter of formations and signals. So basically, the principles stay the same, yet you need measures that allow you to properly scale your effort. Now, Sun Tzu mentions something that some translate as normal or extraordinary force. He notes, generally in battle, use normal force to engage and use the extraordinary to win. At first I assumed that he meant regular and elite troops, but since he adds that the resources of those skilled in use of extraordinary forces are infinite as the heavens and earth, I concluded that the regular elite troops interpretation makes no sense. Consequently I believe that the more ideal translation for normal and extraordinary force is direct and indirect method, as used by other translators. The question is what is meant with direct and indirect method. One interpretation notes that the direct method is basically fighting whereas the indirect methods are maneuvers like flanking. This would also make sense in combination with the other translation of normal and extraordinary, since fighting is quite regular, yet flanking and other maneuvers are more extraordinary, since they require coordination, timing and control. He adds, in battle there are only the normal and extraordinary forces, but the combinations are limitless. None can comprehend them all. He then makes various analogies with colors and taste that just a few elements provide an endless stream of combinations. Probably the most striking and contemporary analogy nowadays is software. Basically a software application is ultimately just a very long combination of zeros and ones. The next part is about deception and simulating confusion, cowardice and weakness towards the enemy. Thus one who is skilled at making the enemy move does so by creating a situation according to which the enemy will act. This can be used to create a situation for an ambush or weaken the enemy's line at certain points. Which brings us to the part about exploitation. Therefore, a skilled commander seeks victory from the situation and does not demand it from his subordinates. He selects suitable men and exploits the situation. By this Sun Tzu means a commander should not rely on the brute force of its units to win, but mainly on his skill by which the combat power of his troops gets multiplied. Now let's revisit chapter 5 and add some examples from military history. The part about organization and management of a large force is still very valid today. To quote Brace's Encyclopedia of Land Warfare about army organization, Armies are designed to operate and fight on land and are organized hierarchically in relatively fixed patterns from small units to large organizations. The functions of land combat are repeated at each level in the hierarchy, although small organizations may not include a separate unit for each function. Thus subordinate units are usually a smaller copy of the superior units. For directing units, Sun Tzu refers to the usage of formations and signals. These are still used in modern days. For instance, in German World War II Heeresdienstvorschriften for Panzers, various formations were explained and it was noted for which situation they were best suited. Similarly, the US Field Manual on Combat Arms Operation in Urban Terrain includes different formations depending on the size of the hallway. Note that formations could also mean units in this case, which are also used throughout military history as you can tell from my various organization videos. The same goes for signals or more general communication. It is still very important in modern militaries, from panzers that were well coordinated to the proper radio sets and training, to the more general level of communication, for instance General Matters focus on communicating the commander's intent directly to his troops prior to a campaign. The importance of deception and confusion of the enemy is still very valid. The team is nearly everywhere in military history, like fake tanks and signal units used by the Allies prior to D-Day, or Soviet slash Russian Maskirovka as outlined in one of my previous videos. Additionally, some two thoughts on the exploitation of a favorable situation sound very similar to General Mattis' views. General Mattis preferred the term coaching rather than commanding. He commented that only about 15 minutes a day was needed to command and the rest of the time he was coaching and setting conditions where his units could succeed. In short, the lessons of this chapter are still viable. Especially organization, communication and deception seem to be timeless principles in warfare. That are of course influenced by technology in various ways, yet not made obsolete. Now a little word from our sponsor, The Great Courses Plus. If you are interested in strategy and strategic thinkers, you probably like the video series Masters of War, History's Greatest Strategic Thinkers by Andrew R. Wilson. 
since he covers Sun Tzu, Clausewitz, Machiavelli, Count Insurgency and many more topics around strategy. In total 24 episodes. This is quite impressive by itself, but he's also professor of strategy and policy at the United States Naval War College. His series is one of many on the Great Courses Plus, which cover a wide range of topics from educators including Ivy League professors and other highly regarded institutions. Click on the link in the description below or just type www.thegreatcoursesplus.com slash mhv as also shown on the screen. And you will get access to a library of different video lectures about history, science, philosophy and many other topics. Note that there are more than 70 history courses, each with at least 12 but sometimes up to 84 lectures. New subjects, lectures and professors are added every month. With the Great Courses Plus you can watch as many different lectures as you want, anytime, anywhere. If that sounds great to you, start your one month free trial by going to the URL shown on the screen or linked in the description. This will allow you to watch all video courses and by doing so you will also support this channel. As always, all sources are in the description. If you like this video, you want to take a look at the previous videos on Su Tzu or maybe take a closer look at General Mattis' way of war. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.